Hey fellow poor unfortunate souls and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Mattel Ursula doll from the live action Little Mermaid so let's go. And before we start, I'm Jamie and I like to make toy videos here on my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you would like to stay tuned for more toy video content. Alright, here she is and I quite love her packaging. It's quite big, bigger than the Ariel dolls obviously and I love that it also has like those rounded edges on the plastic cover. Her tentacles are disassembled in the box to make them fit and also look pretty cool in the box but it also shows a photo of how she's supposed to look like when she's out. On the back, we got a promo image of Ursula herself. It promotes the online and the budget mermaid doll as well as showing you how to put together the tentacles. And now it's time to take her out. And these are the glued type of boxes so unfortunately I cannot save them and have to rip them off. And she is out of the box so before we assemble her tentacles together let's check them out shall we? So she got a total of 8 tentacles with 2 already being attached on either side and 4 additional ones that we'll have to assemble. Overall the tentacles are sculpted nicely with various degrees of poses in terms of their you know like twiggly wigglies. And the blue bioluminescent parts are not painted but instead 2 sculpted pieces fused together. In terms of assembly, each hole on her body has a number that corresponds with a number on the tentacle pieces so all we have to do is match the numbers and put them in. They are pretty tight to put in actually, I had to use some force and it looks like they're not coming back out anytime soon once you've put them in. So if you are a toy photographer like me and want to utilize her tentacles in cool edits and photos and whatnot, I suggest that you take photos separately of the tentacles before you put them in. And voila, she's all put together. And here is a 360 look of Ursula before we get into the details. Overall, I really like that textured kind of thing that they've sculpted on top of her outfit. It really gives off like sea creature vibes. And fun fact, in the original 1989 movie, due to budgetary concerns, Ursula only has six tentacles, but you can still count her two arms and call it eight, I suppose. So there was a debate saying Ursula is technically a squid in the original movie, but here she actually has eight tentacles and then two arms, so overall I guess she has ten limbs. <laughs> now let's get into the details starting with her hair and face. Again, sculpt. Nailed it, you can definitely see Melissa McCarthy in her face and I love the expression, the exaggerated look. It's very camp caricature but at the same time it still resembles Melissa and also Ursula. Just one thing though, on her side profile unlike the other dolls, she seems to be like a little sunken in or a little bit flat in terms of her profile. I'm not sure if it's accurate to Melissa's actual face but I don't think so but I'm not sure. In terms of paint, there's a little bit of pixel but it's really hard to tell this time around. Even harder to tell than the Ariel dolls so overall it's good. I love the green eye makeup and the really red lips. And I actually love the little um, line sculpted into her teeth so that it has like a clear dif uh, differentiation of the top teeth and the bottom teeth as opposed to just you know like a big white blob of teeth. <laughs> Alright moving on to her hair. So her hair is a rock. It's gelled solid to keep that style in shape. It's blonde and purple streaks rooted together and it's styled in just two little rolls. Uh, the left side has a bigger chunk roll and the right side has a smaller chunk mini roll. It's not really accurate to how it's styled in the movie or Ursula's hair in general but I think a little bit of water we can brush it out and sculpt it back to the shape that we want. And also her neck peg is the usual kind of older Ken type of neck pegs where it just turns left to right and it does not tilt. And due to the way it's sculpted when you turn her head it's at an angle so she will immediately look up once you turn her to the side. And for her jewelry she got a pair of pearl drop earrings. So this is not quite accurate to the movie because in the movie she has like clamshell earrings so I don't know why they gave her pearl drops. Maybe it's an early concept that the toy designers worked on but didn't make it to the final movie. Moving on to her outfits, her chest part and her outfit are also two sculpted pieces, they're not painted over. So her overall outfit is all sculpted, she has her iconic sweetheart neckline, uh, I love the addition of the collar and overall I just loved like I said the ribbed kind of texture sculpted onto her outfit, it really does make it pop. 
and I love the color, it's a dark blue kind of color with sparkles embedded into the plastic. The outfit parts of her body are hard plastic, but at least the hands are the usual soft vinyl material. Moving down to her skirt dress slash tentacles, so like I said, she got eight tentacles on her and they're sculpted very nicely. I love that um, shade of blue that they used for the bioluminescent part of her suction cups. Usually I can't handle like circles being that close to each other, but thank god they're not sculpted to be too realistic so I can still somewhat kind of can handle it because they're a little still cartoony, so that's good. For articulation, aside from the head, she moves at the shoulders, the elbows, they don't do much but it's still better than nothing, definitely for sure. I hope she had come with a wrist articulation as well. And she also got waist articulation so she can turn side to side a little tiny bit but the most she can do is she can actually pivot around the waist. She can arch back, she can arch forward, she can even tilt side to side so that's cool. I wasn't expecting that at all so it's a nice surprise. For articulation on the tentacles, only the two pre-attached tentacles on either side can kind of swivel front and back. The ones we just attached are fixed. But I really love that she can also stand on her own with the sculpted tentacles, so that's pretty cool because trying to find a stand that will fit through all of the tentacles would have been hard. Lastly, if you're wondering, her body is a little bit heavier than the normal dolls, but still it's hollow. Once you knock on it, you can see that it's hollow plastic inside, so she's not that heavy. Okay, and here is a comparison between the um, Ariel doll from the sister pack. So they seem to be in the same height if Ariel were to be standing exactly at the tip of her tail and not floating. So that's the common thing with Ariel and Ursula dolls from both Disney Store and Mattel in the past. Ursula in the movie hovers over. She's giant compared to Ariel even before she became the giant at the end. She's always huge in scale. But the dolls, I understandably, they're in like, you know, 12 inch scale. So they're always around the same size. But the funny thing is if you put Ariel higher up to let her fin loose, Ariel is now taller than Ursula. Oh, and I almost forgot one more jewelry to talk about, an important jewelry, is her conch shell necklace. So it's a sculpted necklace, all gold, uh, with the conch shell attached to it. And of course, since Ursula has like a sculpted outfit and a collar piece, so it actually goes around on the outside of her outfit as a big giant hoop. <laughs> but I have to say, she still looks really good. And before we go to final thoughts, here's a quick look at Ursula after I have done a mini restyle on her hair. So basically what I did is dipped her hair in warm water to just kind of loosen up the glue a little bit. And then I just used a rat's tail comb to comb through and sculpt it into the shape that I want her hair to look. And the cool thing is that since we're not completely rinsing off the glue or the gel, once it dries, it will go back to being hard in the new style that you have set. So that's pretty cool. You don't need to even do like additional gel and styling. Just wet it, comb it to the way that you want and boom, she's good to go. Alright, so that is it for my review on the live action Ursula doll from The Little Mermaid by Mattel. So overall, I think she's a pretty great figure and a must have in the collection. She looks so much like Melissa McCarthy. And even though unfortunately her outfit is all plastic, I think it's still executed quite nicely. The only things I would add is if her scale had been a little bit bigger than Ariel, that would have been really cool. And maybe a wrist articulation would have been nice too. And one final thing is that if they had made the bioluminescent part of her tentacles like glow in the dark, how cool would that be? For a split moment, I thought they were going to be glow in the dark, but unfortunately they do not glow. But still, the paint has a nice color to it that it mimics them being glowing but you know imagine so what are your thoughts on her let me know in the comments down below do you have her do you like her what are your opinions um you can also check me out on instagram at jamie creates for more toy photography because i am having a blast creating photography of all these little mermaid dolls so check me out there if you could if you enjoyed the video you can thumbs up like subscribe and share it'll really help out my channel once again thanks so much for watching until the very end and i'll see you all soon in my next video bye